that you paid off that entire loan within a year right yeah yeah <laughs> that is Thank you Shiva for doing this really means a lot to me and uh, my Yuri squad community uh, I'm just super impressed with your profile uh, with your journey uh, so far what have I done research on you I think people are going to be very inspired uh, by knowing your story so can't wait to know more so let's uh, you know thank you for being here yeah thank you thank you <laughs> even I'm excited to thank you yeah, yeah. i just i just have to you know preface my audience that you, you like i love how kind and humble you are uh, so uh, super happy that you came here <laughs> uh, but anyway let's do a quick intro where are you from uh, what do you do right now uh, fun things about you okay so uh, i am from odisha india and uh, actually uh, i have before coming to us i was working in bangalore for more than 3 years mm. and then uh, i uh, got an admit from usc i graduated in electrical engineering and now i work at qualcomm as a hardware application engineer nice somewhere in your page uh, i think you mentioned that you are also from like middle class family and like right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So awesome. like that's the story I had uh, I had written one blog in my college website so yeah I'll I'll put that blog for people to read if if they want to know more about you but okay. anyway uh, what's your profile like I know you mentioned you had some work 3 years of work experience what was your GRE TOEFL bachelor yeah so uh, since I was working uh, so uh, I had to prepare parallelly Yeah. So uh, I, I, my score was for GRE it was 310, TOEFL was 94, and then uh, CGPA of undergrad was 8.7. Okay, and yeah. you had three years of experience. Yeah. That's a, that's so a pretty, yeah. yeah. So the three years of experience was actually relevant experience because uh, I was working in a core company and a, like a similar role. It was a design engineer role. Okay. So yeah, that's why I think. it had more weight than the right. other things yeah yeah right right i was going to ask you what was your role but you already answered it so that's awesome I, i'm curious to know obviously you chose usc which i know already but what other admits did you have yeah so i had applied only to six colleges hmm. so i had just two admits asu and usc oh okay uh, yeah uh, asu obviously is not as expensive as usc uh, yeah. why did you choose usc just pure because of brand and ranking or like did you like the coursework yeah so there are uh, many advantages for selecting usc first and the uh, field which i was looking for that is vlsi usc was uh, like in the top 10 for that particular field and then uh, the location of the university in california that yeah. has its own advantage and yeah. then uh, the la city of la also had that attraction <laughs> so yeah we watched like, it uh, in bollywood movies <laughs> <laughs> yeah so coming to the hollywood and yeah studying there for two years yeah. so that kind of feeling attracted me but yeah that was uh, the secondary thing which attracted me but the primary thing was yeah the course work and the ranking mm. and the location yeah i know that usc is super expensive uh, and uh, i know a lot of my friends were in us usc and they're still paying up their loan uh, so and you mentioned that you're from middle class family so did you like take a loan or something or like did you pay it by yourself yeah so i had taken the full loan for the full course fee yeah it was fully nice if if yeah, you had to guess loan. 100k if you like that was the whole loan amount no uh, the i20 amount at my time it was 60k 60k so yeah so, and uh, so just the total tuition fees was 60k for 2 years 
and it had been uh, included in the i20 combining as tuition plus living expenses but okay. yeah okay cool so and would you say that was your roughly expense for that two years or was it more than 60 no so it is just the tuition fees so uh, if i count the living expenses yeah it will go till 80 80 wow yeah. that is <laughs> expensive that is super expensive what is 80 i mean if i have to count right now 18 into 70 it's like 55 lakhs right like roughly 55 yeah, yeah, 60 yeah. lakhs oh yes. my god yeah. okay uh, <laughs> and where... plus interest on that plus interest so, on that yeah. right <laughs> yeah but there's 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 a catch i'm going to talk about we're going to talk about the catch but i want to talk first uh, where did you get the loan from yeah so uh, first at first i was uh, worried about uh, the getting loan from different banks because uh, i had uh, to work for getting loan from my elder brother who did his masters so mm. uh, i had seen how much struggle it can be it, sometimes it takes like months to get it approved mm. so i came across this uh, uh, international institute called uh, prodigy finance oh, so yeah yep yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, there i found that it was online and there was no need of uh, co-signer or collateral yeah. so it was very easy for me to get the loan from there right yeah. Yeah, I've I I have personally not taken loan from them, but I've did a seminars with them. I think in 2019 is when mm. we did it, and I've only heard I've only hear good things about them. And also when they were presenting it, uh, like it was like I I think they said that they can you can get like quote in like five minutes or something within five minutes or something. But how was your uh, experience with Prodigy? What's what's the like how's their process in general? because you know i have been yeah. talking as an outside but someone who has taken mm-hmm. loan i want to know your experience yeah so uh, like i came across through uh, one of my friend regarding this and then at the beginning even i was skeptical but yeah. then everything was online so i just uh, went ahead and applied and then within a week i had the provisional offer letter so it was very quick for me so uh, they just asked for a list of documents uh, which was specified uh, it was not more than 10 documents and then uh, i uh, it was very easy for me to upload those documents and apply on a single day mm. so the only thing extra they asked was the credit report i think uh, like since i was working in india i had taken credit cards and i had made a credit score so that worked out well for me so other than that uh, the applications uh, process was online and then yeah it was very quick nice okay and and i think what i've also heard about general uh, loan processes is that the disbursement is like the toughest part like was it hard for you or was it like all okay yeah no not at all so uh, what prodigy have is like they have some kind of partnership with different uh, international uh, schools and colleges and mm. they so from the beginning they had like top 100 universities only so in that uh, usc was there and asu was not there so even that came into oh, oh uh, and, right yeah, right they, okay yeah. for your decision yeah so, yeah so now nowadays they are expanding their pool but yeah in the beginning they started with just the premium colleges Yeah. and and they were able to do that because they since they are not asking for collateral or co-signer yeah. so they had to make sure that uh, after the study we can repay so yeah yeah no i i love uh, their concept uh, like i've i've heard from them and i've seen their website in fact Uh, for people who are uh, watching and who are worried like i think a lot of them ask me uh, for co-signer collateral if they you don't have prodigy is a good option i'll also put the link i think where you can get the quote or something if you are interested to check them out but i'm more excited about that you paid off that entire loan within a year right yeah yeah <laughs> that is just crazy so <laughs> it is amazing how 
I mean, I, we're gonna get back to it. I I couldn't wait, and I I had to say it in the beginning. So people know that uh, yes, it is possible for someone who's middle class family who took this big amount, sixty thousand loan, and paid off within a year of graduating. Amazing, cool. Uh, so you came to USC. Uh, how was your experience at USC? What was it like studying, and how was your uh, experience at? United States education experience. Yeah, so uh, yeah, the first of all, I see this huge campus. So it took me <laughs> yeah. like two days to yes. cover just the campus and yeah. the concept of like uh, a university having different school buildings spread out over a single campus. And then, uh, yeah, it was good to explore. And uh, regarding the education system, yeah, uh, it's pretty much different and exciting. So uh, it is very fast paced. So we had to catch up to different things. So mm. like it took just one month to get used to the kind of pace we are expected to. But then it was fun. We uh, used to do assignments uh, like uh, late nighters and then uh, doing <laughs> projects together, yeah. living the student life again. So yeah. it was very fun. Yeah. What was your biggest uh, shock? income if you had to say for education like was there any shock to you for me for me it was like the <laughs> the assignments like the assignments for me it was i think i remember it was data structure class my first assignment and i was like wow this type of assignments are like our final year projects <laughs> because they are like <laughs> hardcore <laughs> what was it like yeah for yeah you? <laughs> Yeah, 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 same. So, uh, like, each assignment was kind of a project in itself. Yeah. It felt like that. And then, uh, in one of my course, uh, there is uh, there was this one professor who, even before the starting of the class, he had sent out materials for us to go through. And then he had written in his email that you have to watch these lecture videos. And uh, he had provided us 30 hours of lecture videos to go mm -hmm. through. And he said, uh, you have to watch it before the start of the class if you want to survive this course. <laughs> if you want to survive this course. <laughs> so, yeah. What, what so, was that? What was the course called? What was the course name? Yeah, it was a computer system architecture. Okay. Yeah, it's very famous. Like uh, USC is famous for this particular course and the professor which takes nice. as well. So, awesome. And yeah, the courses were good and like, uh, if uh, there was flexibility, if we want to move from a specialization to general electrical to uh, so that we'll get more options of courses. So uh, for I had got admit for VLSI specialization, but it had both digital and analog courses. So what I did after my first semester was I switched to the general electrical, which can be done very easily. So, uh, and then you get the uh, larger options of courses to take. And then you don't have to do the analog just because it is there in that specialization. So okay. you can just easily switch uh, streams. What, what, what was your reason? Um, like, and would you recommend people to choose general instead of some specialized? What was your reason? So my reason was I didn't like analog because I feel it's hard. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. then uh, again, uh, the opportunities when you see for analog uh, opportunities are less and for analog positions, they prefer PhD people rather than just masters. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So if you are uh, very much into the academics and you love analog, then that's the correct combination. But mm. if you don't like analog and if you just want to do digital then i would prefer to switch to the general electrical and by switching to general electrical you get more options not only in digital but also like machine learning and ai so you can take these kind of subjects even if you are not interested to go into that field but if you want to just try it out yeah so you have those options available yeah, and it actually even opens up the door for job search, right? Like you, you can then go into if if things didn't work out for VLSI specific, you can go into a MI uh, machine yeah. machine learning or AI or something yeah. like that. 
I also know uh, from that article which I read, you got into Micron, uh, uh, which is one of the big company uh, for people who don't know, at least over here, at least it is one of the big companies. Uh, how did you find that internship? What was your internship search strategy? When did you start? Yeah, so the strategy was uh, pretty much uh, to start applying from the first day of the college itself. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. So, and then, uh, like, I, we have to make connections both socially and on LinkedIn. So, uh, what I saw was uh, while searching for my on campus job, uh, I got to know that referrals work here amazing. Yes. So, Yes. Yeah, I took that tip and then I implemented it. Like I increased my connections and I was looking for referrals and applying. Hmm. And even uh, USC has uh, several career events. So Micron uh, had one such event in USC. Hmm. So I got Micron through that event. Mm. But yeah, these were all my strategies. This is so. awesome. So I'm, I'm happy. Uh, why? Because I've said this in a lot of my videos. One, uh, networking is the key. Referrals are the way to go because that's just how job search work in United States. And two, get involved on campus activities, which is what you did. Like you went to one of their event uh, yeah. uh, and then you probably met them and then had a conversation. And that's how... You know, you get your resume yeah. directly to the recruiter. Tell me more about this event. Like, what is it like? What did you do? How did you, like, obviously you found out from your department that they are coming. Uh, what was it like? Like, what was the event about? So, uh, like, apart from the generic uh, career events where multiple companies come, like career yeah, fair. Career and, fair, yeah. Yeah. So apart from that, uh, what USC has is uh, it has some kind of uh, partnership with different companies mm, who yeah. regularly visit uh, not just during career fair, but separately as well. So uh, even Micron was uh, one such company who visits uh, every semester and they even uh, start like... Uh, Micron, uh, since the CEO is Indian, uh, the <laughs> process is little bit similar to the Indian companies. So what they do okay. is they do the written test itself in the first event. Mm. And then they screen out from there. Mm. And uh, they do it for both interns and full times. So uh, during my time, they had an intern position opening. So they considered oh, mine. And, and uh, what was that position you were applying for? So this was a design engineer intern. Okay. All right. And, and also, did you say return test? Like, what kind of, like what, what is it? Like, in India, it's more like an aptitude test, but I'm guessing it's not an aptitude test. No, it was technical. And so, uh, yeah, like, I think one coding question was there and four other technical questions. So just five questions. But Got it. based on that, they explained it. Out. And then, uh, since for internship, uh, the process is easier compared to the full-time, so uh, in internship they had just one round of interview after that. Mm. So okay. and was that was easy. on campus yeah. or was it? Did you, did you have to go to their office? So that was uh, actually on call, audio on call. call, just yeah. audio. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And when was this? Uh, sorry, I didn't ask you. When did you graduate? Uh, when was this timeline wise? Twenty sixteen. Yeah. So timeline wise, no, uh, twenty nineteen. So, oh, so it's a recent. Yeah. Okay. So you yeah, just, yeah. Okay, okay. So I joined in spring 2018. So I started from Jan 2018. And then I uh, tried to finish my courses by the next spring semester. So uh, the... Wait, what? Within? Yeah. So did you have... Practice? One and a half. Okay. No. It's actually semester, but we had a summer course. Ah, gotcha. So, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Got it. That makes sense. I was like, how so, did yeah, you so, finish it? Okay. So it's, it was kind of an uh, advantage for me to uh, join as a spring admit because uh, so the, the, the disadvantage was that uh, we could not do internship in the first summer. Yeah. Because uh, we have to stay here for nine months yeah. because of that growth. Uh, but uh, in a way, it helped me because uh, I was able to take the course, which is yeah which is very important like uh, 
that is again of that professor which i talked about earlier the computer system architecture yeah. and it's very famous for getting jobs and all yeah so uh, so that helped me uh, just to cover my credits as well as help me finish my uh, total credits faster so that i can finish and so i could finish all my credits uh, by the next spring so i started next summer internship and since uh, i was done with all my credits i had asked them that whether they can extend it to a coa so ah um, that's yeah. okay <laughs> nice okay so cool. yeah so that worked well for me so they and they had uh, like the from the beginning of the offer it was from may to december mm. it was like eight months long oh wow so that's yeah. awesome okay <laughs> that kind of worked yeah. out in all in good favor so yeah 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 <laughs> and then did they extended that full time offer or did you switch from that company to qualcom yeah i had that option but i switched yeah okay because, you had the full time yeah. offer and then you switched it yeah yeah okay okay uh i want to ask you did you have on campus job yes you did okay and yeah <laughs> what was what was your on campus so so uh at at first i had got uh, a job in bookstore uh, which is essentially a kind of mall not just a bookstore here <laughs> <laughs> yes i've been there i've been there yes <laughs> so uh, yeah it was uh, very painful like uh, we have to stand and like it's it was kind of a salesman job yeah um, but then uh, i again like within a month i got a referral from uh, another friend who was working in library hmm. so that job was pretty decent like uh, i think it was one of the best job best on campus job i would say because yeah. we did not have to work much yeah. we had just to go there sit there and like <laughs> and deal with uh, issuing laptops and yes. all but yeah yes. we could do our homework and yeah. 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 And I think I well. also like to I think I would like to correct this my checking uh, my assumption is the US is so massive that there are like lots and lots of on campus job. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, actually it's uh, the faster you try to search the faster you will get it. Hmm. And again for that also uh, referrals works yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, all the library posts were not uh, uh, shown on the website so most of them mm. were through referrals yeah same thing for my <laughs> campus job as well uh, they before they even posted it on on their website they there was some one of fr- one of my friends they uh, she asked me actually hey why don't you apply to the position we are going to open up and i was like okay yeah i would love to and uh, <laughs> yeah. same thing yeah i 100% agree so yeah referral works mm-hmm. everywhere not just uh, you know for full time job but also on campus moving to the internship part uh, what are now that you know obviously you worked there for 8 months and then now you're working at colcom what are some of uh, the skills which you would recommend for students to learn and actually before that question what does design engineer role mean like what do you do well, what's your general role what does design engineer role is yeah uh, so uh, the coding skills are a must for any job role nowadays so uh, if you are uh, looking for hardware languages then verilog and system verilog vsdl is older so maybe you can uh, skip it but verilog and system verilog are new similarly uh, for hardware roles c and c++ are also needed mm. for some of the positions so you should have at least a hang of it and then uh, scripting languages like uh, perl and python so nowadays mostly companies are, are transitioning from perl to python so they need python engineers to understand the perl code and move to python so these are the main wh- wh- why skills. why scripting is it because they are we you guys are automating stuff yes yeah so right. yeah as as i said like a hardware description language in itself is kind of a automation because it creates circuits for you. oh yeah so yep. yeah. yeah and then there is another layer of like scripting languages comes into uh, picture when we try to automate testings and validation and 
verification of all those modules so even uh, yeah scripting languages are required. Mm, got it okay and other than just coding skills i would say soft skills yes. <laughs> those are so we should yes. not ignore no. yeah the communication skills and presentation skills that plays a huge role and like our tendency is uh, to ignore it but we should actually give more importance to it from the early on yeah yeah 100% and i've said it in like so many times that lot of time soft skills will actually even you know be better to have more than the hard skills because hard skills you can learn soft skills people can't teach you i mean they kind of teach you but yeah you it, it's important for you to you know start uh, having that soft soft skills okay moving on to callcom uh, obviously a call, lot of people i mean if they don't know one of the big companies a very big company how did you make that transition uh, like what was your strategy to find that was it referral online application what was it yeah uh, so i had applied through referral itself what i was my strategy was uh, not to apply by myself if i can uh, try to get a referral from someone so 100%. yeah i was just trying to get referrals from all the so, companies so i so, I want to understand how are you finding those referrals because that would be another question people would ask me is like uh, they are new to United States they just came how do we find referrals Yeah so as I said I was uh, I joined in spring so I could not do internship in my first summer so I had a long uh, period of time to get connections and then I uh even i was involved in uh, different uh, extracurricular activities yes. so uh, i was involved in cricket where i could make some connections there was a cricket team nice. we had a cricket league of ours and uh, <laughs> that's yeah, awesome <laughs> so that helped me get uh, most of the connections and then uh, i was a senator in uh, vgsa so uh, it was it stands for bitter bee graduate student association nice so i uh, stood for the election like they have a election process yeah. for that and yeah. then uh, it gets done so i had applied for it in the first semester itself so i was the senator and i was organizing events for our department mm. Mm. and through that i was getting uh, senior contacts even, uh, like from my own department itself Hmm. so just by organizing events i could get more connections so these are the ways from which i could uh, get so connections so happy i was uh, you, this is making me so much more happy <laughs> because uh, i've said the same thing I, you, you your journey is very similar to mine uh, i've done the same thing i, I was a president of indian student communication uh, <laughs> association hmm. and i was involved on campus i used to go to a lot of events we organized a lot of events and that's how i made my network and uh, connections and and then you know that's how people will give you referral because now they know you as a person because they've seen you yeah. so uh, amazing man thank you so much mm-hmm. i i am just happy yeah. i'm just happy so yeah. such a good yeah. testimony uh, to everything i say so awesome awesome job so you uh, how did you reach out for the referral like did they reach out to you or did you saw the job position in callcom and you're like okay i'm going to find a referral and then reach out like what how did that go no so uh, for particular uh, this case uh, like uh, the callcom position i uh, had a senior who was interning there previously and who was my neighbor mm. where i was staying so i knew that this guy had the internship there and then later he got the full time there as well mm. so i was in constant touch with him and then i asked him to refer so this was my strategy to like uh, find out all senior interns who are there in different companies and try to reach out to them and be in touch from the beginning so that it's not like uh, i'm just saying you to give referral tomorrow <laughs> right so yeah, yeah it's more kind of a, a, a genuine relationship yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and also a genuine so you, relationship yeah yes yeah so you build the relationship and then you be in constant touch and then you ask for the referral at the right time and then mm-hmm. so the role in qualcom what they have they generally consider people with experience they do not hire freshers for those kind of roles mm. so 
there my indian work experience got counted as well yeah. as the micron internship experience got counted so that way i was able to get this particular job so yeah nice. so uh, what i would say is like people uh, do not explore different opportunities from the beginning so they just focus that i want to do this so i should apply only to these kind of jobs but i would say you should be little bit flexible because like you never know you will get a better opportunities just by trying something different and yeah if you just, just like your example you you didn't <laughs> want it to do this and now that's what you're doing <laughs> yeah, yeah. And do you like it do you love it uh, yeah 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 so uh, for this role we are like for qualcom uh, this role what we have is we have to uh, work with different qualcom customers uh, which basically includes everything even apple is a customer for yeah. their modems and then uh, you build the relationship with each customer and then you help them uh, from the beginning of the product to the launch and that journey is mm. pretty much yeah is it's amazing and then you get the full picture of like so for design and design verification what happens is you uh, work for a module and then you do not have much idea about where yeah, the what happened goes yeah goes and yeah, yeah yeah so uh, in 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 this role you get the whole picture so you know uh, who is the design team who is the verification team who is the testing team and we, uh, like uh, based on customers questions which want to um, which team to ask for and then who will be knowing what and all those things so it gives you that bigger picture and you know how what is happening from the beginning to the end of the product do so, you do you still code do you still do programming or no yeah so the percentage uh, of programming in my role is less so i would say like 20% but oh, then oh wow okay yeah. <laughs> nice yeah. so, so, so i think and, now people will be much interested because that's what i've been hearing i get this question like can i get a role where there is a less programming so maybe this is their role so the coding comes into picture when uh so there are instances when you have to go to lab for testing something or debugging something so there you may have to implement something to test things out or else uh another place where like we do reviews for schematics and layouts so how to make things automated so if you have an idea just uh, like you have that flexibility to implement it on your own and then uh present to your team and say that this can be automated so uh there are different tools uh, like uh, i have worked on one such tool in just one year so i have made a tool by myself so this role gives you that flexibility to invest and like uh, to if you are interested in coding you can do more in coding but if you are not interested then you can do without coding as well yeah. so it has that flexibility what's the salary range for such positions like hardware application so for a new college grad uh, they uh, since they are based on san diego so from that they have like 95 to 110 kind of range to start with for this role and like for design roles they have like starting from 105 to 10 like 115 that kind of range Yeah. and this is the san diego range but if we come to the bay area they have office in san jose and santa clara as well so that changes based on the bay area side yeah. nice and do they give stock options yes yes so uh, they do give joining bonus and they do give racos in the uh, it's <laughs> spread out over 3 years but yeah they do give yeah. a lot you have to stay for 3 years to vest all the stocks but yes yeah so cool man that is so cool awesome uh it's very inspiring and i hope it's encouraging to all the people who've been watching it before i move on to the finale question uh which i think a lot of people might be waiting for i don't know maybe they are waiting for it uh, uh is uh would you say there is a lot of demand and scope in in this field vlsi hardware engineer design engineer in electrical engineer this part of it yeah yeah so uh, i think after computer science if we are going to rank then we'll say to be the next and there are really? so much opportunities yeah yeah so okay. uh, so because i would, you I, see, would I would i would i would rent like data science and data analyst but 
maybe i mean yeah, maybe yeah. they are equal. so yeah so data science is uh, now booming like uh, we can say like in last two years yeah but if we compare before that then maybe vlsi was the second and yeah. the reason is like you you see all these tech companies and nowadays companies like tesla and autonomous car and everyone wants to implement those so uh, it needs hardware and yeah. it needs hardware people to either design uh, the actual product or to uh, do the software for it yeah so amazing i hope uh, people who are watching and hope uh, they are still watching i know it's like almost 45 minutes <laughs> until here yeah. uh, but i hope they are watching uh, anyway uh, million dollar question how did you pay off your loan within one year like that's amazing uh, very inspiring mm-hmm. of course and I, i i think and now i understand because you started your co-op uh, that's eight months and then of also one year of callcom so that kind of uh, for me i can uh, i'm a, like i can understand because i know finances a little bit but tell me your strategy what what how did you start paying off uh, is there penalty when you pay off to prodigy ahead of time no no there is no penalty to pay off the loan so that is again another good flexibility option we have mm. in prodigy so yeah uh, i would say like uh, since i was doing on campus jobs in uh, i the first semester itself so i think i had to pay like i used my savings just for the first two months and then uh, my on campus job was helping me to take care of my staying and living expenses mm. Uh, till the end of my course and then uh, i got a uh, internship in micron and uh, micron was giving uh, the best internship program in vlsi yeah in, in not just in terms of the uh, like uh, the role but also in terms of benefits so they were providing us uh, fully furnished apartments mm. and a rental car and oh, it was nice yeah. so so yeah so basically your living so expenses are like almost yeah, zero i mean obviously you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah so except food uh, it's like the rent and car it's sponsored by my i mean so, obviously yeah. a, a rent in <laughs> bay area is itself is like 2300 2500 yeah. so that's gone you're saving that much yeah. money that's amazing i didn't know this uh, yeah. I, i i know everybody's now like looking at micron <laughs> is there any position <laughs> but anyway. so yeah so and then it was 8 months long and it was decided early on that it will be 8 months long so i had a uh, fully furnished apartment and uh, the cost of that apartment uh, i got to know that it was uh, like around 4k per month if yeah, i had to pay by myself i, I believe it so, yeah <laughs> i believe so, it so like since since it was uh, fully furnished that's why or is it would be around, less than or around 3500 or something yeah. yeah yeah but uh, yeah so uh, that helped me a lot and then since my expenses were less because i just had to take care of my food so i could save more and i had started paying off loan from my internship time itself So from the first yeah. month you started getting your paycheck from micron you started like just paying yeah. everything to uh, what is there like a monthly payment uh, which you have to make a uh, uh, to prodigy and you were like adding it to the principal that's um, my, my guess is that's what you were doing yeah so uh, they had a grace period as well so my actual emi was starting from july 2021 hmm. and i started paying off early because it was possible and there were no extra charges Wait, so that's that's like a year of a grace period yeah so 6 months you can say because i was supposed to graduate in december oh december okay yeah yep. yeah i was supposed to graduate in december 2019 but i uh, like officially i did graduate in december 2019 but i had just like one or two credits left so most of my course work was done by may 2019 so i had that 8 months of internship to save and pay off early and then what helped me again was uh, qualcomm's uh, joining bonus so mm. qualcomm was uh, the one who was giving the best joining bonus <laughs> among the other companies yes so, yes so yeah so they were giving uh, 25k as bonus wow. so that was just yeah 
So, that so right, so you took almost sixty thousand. Uh, that's that's the loan amount you had. Twenty uh, five just gone from the bonus right there, and then uh, yeah. obviously eight months is guessing three thousand a month or something. Um, that that's that covers twenty four yeah. another. Yeah. So that's fifty thousand, <laughs> and then left is ten thousand. That's yeah. like gone like this. That's awesome. <laughs> so cool so yeah so just like after starting the job i think uh, within two or three months yeah i was able to save those yeah, and get it done man so, this is very yeah. very <laughs> inspiring um again uh, there is just you know you have to dream uh, hard work and it's possible i i would this is a big like very inspiring to me uh, to at least to you know hear from your story hopefully this is inspiring to other students as well uh, uh what would you like what what's your advice for students who are like skeptical about taking this big loan and all of that now based on your journey is what 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 would you recommend yeah so uh being uh, i myself was uh, from a middle class family so my father was a teacher and uh, even my elder brother had gone for ms uh, to boston uh, in northeast university so Uh, my father had used all his uh, savings in his education so for me it was like i have to take care of my finances or else it's not possible but then uh, it was not that hard either so uh, i would say the advice as like uh, the if you think about uh, taking loans uh, from the beginning Uh, it's little bit tough but uh, it's not that tough either because uh, in the beginning we do not have all the resources available to us that information and then we do not uh, know uh, all other options what we can use which would help us get there so uh, we get scared and we make it a huge factor uh, as a deciding factor yes. to go for us or not yeah. so i would say uh, that uh, more than the financial part you should focus on uh, making your profile good and then getting a good admit and then after you get a good admit it's pretty much easy to get loans so if you have a good admit at a good college you will get a loan easily and like as i said prodigy it does not need co-signer or collateral so you don't need anybody else to sponsor you and you don't need any property to show it as collateral and uh, it's possible so that's why like do not consider the loan thing as a deciding factor keep that aside and if you are really interested to pursue higher studies i would say just focus on that and try hard and yeah it is possible the loan things is easy and it will be manageable you don't have to worry too much about it. so cool um i have goosebumps uh, so cool <laughs> uh is it uh, so i mean kind of follow up question on that uh, return of investment what would you say for you is return of investment of doing uh, ms in usa is it worth it yeah yeah it definitely is uh, worth it it's worth a lot so uh, the return will be much uh, greater if you compare to what early investments you are doing and again it's related to um, what kind of majors you are interested in as well so i know mostly for uh, computer science electrical and then uh, data scientists uh, nowadays for machine learning and ai but uh, other than that i am not so sure about but if you are uh, coming to um, uh, coming for masters in these areas so there are lots of opportunities it's very easy to get a job and then once you get a job it's very easy to repay the loan early off Yeah. and once you're done with the loan then uh, it's just uh, your savings and and the longer you stay here the more you get yeah. so it's kind of linked to that right. and then even if you return to india let's say so since you had worked here the work experience in us has its own advantage so mm. if you go back to india after a few years so you will get a high paying job there compared to what you would be earning if you had decided to work in india itself so mm. the difference uh, is lot so the studying in us and working here has its advantages and it 
yeah it definitely is right. what yeah and and i mean look at your example i mean you you just graduated and within 2 3 months you're done paying off your loan and you still have almost did you get your h1b already no so uh, yeah. last uh, yeah last year i didn't get this hmm. year uh, it will be like by 31st march the results will be out and yeah uh, if Hopefully i they'll... don't get this yeah <laughs> then like mostly i have seen in qualcom uh they do get within 3 years so there is not a very less percentage i would say a rarity that people yeah. don't get a job yeah so if you work in a good company it's uh more or less like either you will get early or late but you will get for sure right yeah. in in my point was not even that my point was uh, uh that you finished paying off your loan already so you and you still have almost 3 years uh, as an opt yeah. almost 3 years yeah. right 28 uh, not 28 32 months or so that's a plenty yeah. of money to <laughs> save enough money uh, if you have to go back uh, hopefully you know you will get h1b and things will work out but if you do then you know that's enough of time for you so yeah again this yeah. is and uh, like uh, companies big companies like this they also provide uh, options to work from different countries like canada yes, or something yes, else so yeah. that way you can like stay from there and ap- apply the next year and mm-hmm. i have seen like even my brother had done the same thing he was working in a startup but he went to canada stayed there one year and next year he got a job in so he can nice so that options are also there so yeah. you do not have to worry much about the issue yeah. just so. just focus on hard work hustle i know you said yeah. that it's very easy uh, to get a job but i would just just say that it's not yeah. not, not like super yeah. easy people struggle a lot yeah so. yeah 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 it's it's tough it's tough uh, the way i was saying is it's uh, like you should not stress so much about it it will be like at the end you will uh, land a job opportunity yes. you have yeah. to just try hard yeah. yeah just keep working hard and uh, whatever he said and whatever i've said in my videos uh, you know work hard uh, network uh, work on your profile do the right steps and you know things will fall into places so and have faith in god so <laughs> uh, so anyway uh, this is awesome this has been so awesome uh, to talk to you to know your journey but this is so valuable for people to watch i hope they watch this entire episode anyway any any last words of wisdom uh, for from you tips uh, anything you want to say before we sign off <laughs> yeah i would just say uh, again uh, i would just say this thing that do not uh, if you are deciding about pursuing higher studies in us do not think much about the financial part it will be manageable you just focus on what you are interested in and just do your hard work you will yeah. get there yes yes and also watch my videos <laughs> <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> you're like ah theek hai wo bhi dekh lena <laughs> <laughs> anyway awesome man thank you so much for doing this until our next one keep smiling and keep hustling Bye.